Hey everybody, it is five o'clock. I've decided foolishly to actually get around town in a car, but I've been here at this uh, intersection for seven light cycles now, complete cycles, and I've gone maybe half of a block. And maybe you're asking why. Well, the reason why is because the idiots over at Seattle Department of Transportation, they don't particularly care about people who are in the car, certainly not in the South Lake Union area. So what just happened is green light, awesome. However, the block in front of it, which is congested with cars, is red. And so there's no synchronization between this lane, this block, and this light, and the light in front of it. So we have a green, but we can't actually move anywhere. Why? Because they don't know what they're doing. So I thought I'd maybe, I don't know, because I'm kind of bored in my car, I thought I would just set up my camera and we'd experience this misery together. So this is the eighth cycle now that I've, I, I've got to make a left by the way, which is impossible because I can't get over because no lane is moving. And now someone in front is making a right, presumably to try to avoid all of this traffic, which is what I'm going to have to try to do. My attempt is going to be to make a right and then make a U-turn, which will probably be impossible as well. <laughs> this is the most I've moved in the last 10 and a half minutes, 11 minutes. I will say this, only because you can't see me. My hair is on point. Okay, we've got a green light, again into a red light. So you can only go so far. Let's see, should I try? No, I'm gonna go straight. I'm gonna, well, that's a disaster too. What should I do? See, the only way that I'm getting across right now is if I block the box, which you're not supposed to do. But if you don't block the box at all, you don't, you can't go anywhere. Now maybe this truck will go. This truck next to me. Oh, it wants to go so badly. Oh, ninth cycle. Now I wish there were a way that I can get this truck's attention so I can go in front of him and just make a left but that's not gonna happen. Maybe I should make a right. There is at least a flow. I'm gonna do it. Oh, this is gonna be a mistake. I'm gonna try to make a right. I can't see because this truck is in the way. But again, I don't necessarily blame the truck. Okay. So that took me about 15 minutes or so. Now, I can't make a U-turn. Oh, look, more traffic. So I'm making a right. Basically, going back to where I came from. Now let's make a U-turn. Okay, let's see how long I'll be stuck here for. Because there was really no option. I don't want to get onto Mercer. I'm trying to go around Mercer, but I can't. problem with videotaping is that um, I can't have on any music or anything and so I feel the need to actually talk but I don't want to because I you know I do that for a living I can't always be on okay so cars are going the problem with this lane now is if anyone tries to turn right they're gonna get stuck in traffic because of course there's no place for there's no room for them to turn right on too 
whatever that street is. What is that? Sixth? I should be doing a Facebook Live, but the reason why I'm not Facebook Living this is I, I have a sneaking suspicion that I might cuss. In my head, I'm cussing a lot right now. Because I'm trying to get to Northgate um, by about 6, 6.15. And the reality is I had to leave a little bit before 5 o'clock to, uh, to get there. To go what would normally take me, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. Uh, oh, look at this car. It's trying to go. I don't know what you're doing, lady. Let's see what she's doing. Okay, so she's trying to make a right. I don't blame her for that. Again, if you do not break traffic laws around South Lake Union, you will not go anywhere. Now, I'm going to choose not to break any traffic laws because I want to show you how bad it actually is while driving around. This guy in front of me, his bumper sticker says, Today is the day, but that's it. I think that's a reference to... God? Or is today the day that I'm going to just completely snap due to traffic? Will someone let us in? Will someone allow this, this gentleman to turn so that I can turn? Probably not. Oh, he's given up. Oh, no! Look at him, that was smart. Oh, and I said six, that's actually ninth. People behind me are, are ditching to make a right here because if they don't again they'll be stuck in traffic. Look okay so over there that's the truck finally getting across and it's not even getting across by the way it's stuck in the middle of the uh, intersection it just now is able to cross the intersection and now of course the truck is blocking traffic which is now stalling the lane in front of me. Which is now growing, which makes it even harder for me to actually turn onto. And I don't think this car will let me go. No, I don't blame you, I'll be honest. Oh, but two bicyclists just went by, that's good. As long as they can get where they're going. Now that kind gentleman actually let me go past him. Thank you, sir. He's driving a car share, a ride share, and they are uh, nice drivers because they understand what it's like to be stuck in traffic. So it's now 5.14. I got in the car about a little less than 10 to 5 or so. So about 20 minutes, I haven't gone. I've gone in a circle. <laughs> At this rate, I could just walk to Northgate. Take me a really long time, but I feel like I'd get there faster. So we now have a green on, uh, I guess this is Roy and 9th, but there's no car in front of us that's able to move because the intersection ahead of this one is red. So we got a green to go into a red, which is already turning red. And now let me guess, the next intersection, now that we have a red, won't do anything at all. It'll just stay there because a bus is passing. So who's responsible for all of this? Well, Scott Kubley ultimately is responsible, but maybe he'll be out of a job without uh, Mayor Ed Murray in power. But Don Go Chang, he is a city engineer, totally incompetent. Guy doesn't drive, 
If you go on his Twitter account, it's filled with nothing, and I mean nothing but photos of bike lanes and construction of sidewalks. That's what really gets him interested, uh, get, gets his, uh, his attention. Not, you know, traffic. He's a city traffic engineer, but he's not interested in the driving experience because he doesn't understand the driving experience. Okay, so the intersection, not the one I'm at, not Roy and Ninth, but Westlake and Roy, which actually I think is a different broad, I think, at that point. Right now, it's totally filled with cars and they're at a red. We're totally filled with cars, also at a red. So let's see what happens. Because in theory, if all the signals are synchronized, they should get the green now, which they have, but of course the cars can't go anywhere because the lane in front of them, the street in front of them, is filled with cars. So now we got a green, they have a green, they've been able to move at that point four cars maybe. Five cars? I think you can see it on the, the video. So this car, in, this truck was, uh, I think, trying to get, no, never mind. I was going to let the truck in, but didn't want to go. So on that green light, maybe four cars went ahead. Oh, just kill me now. Now, normally to get to Northgate, I would take I-5, but I'm not going to dare get I-5 because look, that's still the truck that was next to me when I was on 9th. Now, they'll argue, the city, that there's only so much room for cars. And they're right. You can't just build out of, of all traffic issues. But the street that we're on right now, they cut away a potential lane to give it to bikes only. They didn't need to do that. They could have made this lane to my right a right turn only, right, to get on to 9th, to get on to Mercer. But they chose not to do that. And instead, and that was probably a mistake what I just did, because now I'm stuck in the box. And now we're going to get hit with a red. Now, luckily, there's no car coming to uh, coming on my right side, so I'm not blocking anything. But what was I supposed to do? Oh, and on the off chance anyone watches this who works with the city and wants to give me a ticket, uh, I'm photoshopping this entire thing. And I admit no guilt. And now I have a green right as a car is coming and I'm about to block some bikes by accident. I don't actually want to. I'm trying my best to get out of the way. I'm gonna get yelled at by a bicyclist, sorry. So our green so far, three cars maybe have gone. Three cars lengths at least have moved. Now here's another good example. They could make this two lanes going uh, east, have one lane that's right lane only, for a right turn only, to get on to Westlake, but instead, they have one lane here and a bike lane that this one dude is about to use, and that's it, this is what he, that, that's the one bicyclist that we're probably going to see, he's using it, um, and you're just forcing all this traffic onto one lane. That can either make a right and get stuck in traffic or go straight and get stuck in traffic. So I've now been, it's 519. I've been filming for 13 minutes. So in 13 minutes, I haven't really gone an entire city block. Oh, here's another bicyclist. Good. I'm glad we're, we're giving them priority over the hundreds and hundreds of cars that are stuck right now in traffic. This poor car to my right, you can't see it yet. It's a little, it's a Nissan. Just trying to get out of a parking lot. But there's nowhere for her to go. Now, if she had an actual lane there instead of this bike lane that nobody uses, maybe be, oh, look, look, we got green. Let's see, oh, no, cars aren't moving yet. I'm gonna let this poor woman go. Only because she's been watching me talk this entire time and I think she thinks I'm crazy. Oh, but she's not going to be able to, to go because the cars in front of me are not moving, just FYI. 
do you think this woman thinks I'm talking about her? I look up, oh, we made eye contact while I was talking to the camera. I wonder how much, how many people will actually get through this far in the video. Because even I'm getting bored, and I've been doing it for 15 minutes. I'll let you go, lady, but only you, this other guy. Sorry, dude. No, I can't, I can't let the whole world through. And this parking lot, I can see, has got one, two, three, four, five, six cars at least, seven cars that are just going to be stuck there. And you can only make a right, a right turn here, because it's a double yellow. Oh, a, th a third bicyclist. It's, it's like a bicycle utopia. One bicyclist every three minutes uses this, uh, this bike lane, but I'm glad we took away what could otherwise be an actual car lane to move traffic quicker. I'm glad we took it away. Also, I'm getting cold. Do you think I'll make, it's 522 right now. Will I make it to, uh, to Northgate by six? So now that, let's see if that bus decides to break the law. That bus, let's see, come on, I'm just waiting. Maybe it'll, it, it'll behave this time, thankfully. But the buses here are notorious. Whoa, I've made it. It took me 25 minutes to go two blocks. It's 5.22. I left a little after 10 to 5. Look at this. Look at this long lane of cars just trying to get onto I-5. Now, I'm going to skip I-5. I'm going to go uh, by side streets to get to Northgate because I don't want to be stuck in this lane that's not going to move. Because, uh, surprise, surprise, the problem with signal synchronization also happens here. In fact, it's even worse on Fairview because if you're trying to get onto I-5 north or south on Fairview, the light gives you like four seconds to go and then no one and everyone gets stuck. Now here, people have to break the law. They have to turn. There's no turn on red between 3 and 7 p.m. If they do not turn now when they get a chance, they will be stuck at this light forever. The city of Seattle has made it so that we have to break the law. I'm sure, I. by the way, I sound like a crazy person. Maybe, you know, it'd be kind of funny. I don't know how we'll do this. I'm going to try to get Jacob to get this audio and just upload it as a podcast. Like, this can be, <laughs> this could be tomorrow's podcast. Just me ranting about the traffic. And it'll be audio only. So you won't even get, you won't even get the video. Okay, I've made it. It took me... So it's 524. I got in about 10 to 5. Let's just say, let's just for the sake of argument, call it 5 to 5. It took me 30 minutes to go about four blocks. That's that's Seattle traffic. That's fantastic. Good on you, city.